mine. Have you got yours? Hi, I've got mine. I've got mine. I've got my box. I've got mine. <laughs> I've got mine. I've got mine. We've got our box. Have you got yours? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our very special online nativity. Now, every year we have a children's Christmas service where we gather in church and uh, we dress up as different characters from the nativity play. And we didn't want 2020 to be any different. So we have put together a nativity play for you and different families from our church have been involved in that. And so we're really excited about what we're going to see. We've got a lovely play and it's going to tell that greatest story ever told. But first we need to light our Advent ring because here we are on week four of Advent, Advent week four. So the girls are going to light the Advent wreath for us. Wonderful. So we know now that four Sundays before Christmas have gone and we've just got our central candle representing Jesus, the light of the world that will be lit on Christmas Day. So let's pray together at the start of our service. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that you have demonstrated your love for us by sending Jesus into the world. That he was born as a baby that he grew up and lived a matchless life, that he showed us what you are like and that he died for us so that we could know you. We pray, Lord, that as we enjoy this play together this morning, you would help us to understand afresh all that you have done for us. In Jesus' name, amen.
Friday. I was so happy. I was going to marry Joseph. I think he had real blood in his family tree somewhere. I was just busy cleaning when suddenly, out of nowhere, this bright light, it just caught me by surprise. I couldn't see. I blinked and blinked so hard. There, standing in front of me, was this bright, sparkling man just staring at me. He told me not to be afraid. He was a sort of messenger from God. I couldn't believe it. <gasps> me? Why me? What did he want? I just wanted to cry. My heart raced. I was completely overwhelmed. I loved my God and I knew he loved me. This messenger told me that I was going to have a baby. A baby? And that we were to call him Jesus. How could that be? Me? What about Joseph? It's, it's all rather vague really. But I think, I think he said his name was Gabriel. I heard him say something about a rescue plan. God's own son coming as a baby to rescue a broken world. I can't remember it all. And that's how the long-awaited promise unfolded. Welcome to our Christmas story. We retell it every, it every year. How God came from heaven's glory came to make his home right here. Jesus lay lying in a manger, born in all our mess and fuss, made us friends who once once were strangers. Son of God, who lives with us. Soon we'll meet the shepherds, wise men, and all the usual, usual, usual Christmas crew and Perhaps another story, one that now involving you in, in our world of joy and darkness, in our laughter, laughter, pain and care. Jesus came so we could know that. God is with us everywhere. So to Bethlehem they travelled because of Joseph's family tree. Walked for days and days to get there. Were they tired? I guess we'll see. We're nearly there now, Mary darling. Won't be long till supper time. We can stay with Bob, my uncle. In his guest room, you'll be fine. I really hope so, Joseph, dearest. Baby's nearly on its way. When we get there, call the midwife. I think you'll be a dad today. Did you like a lift? We're fine. Thank you ever so much. Thank you anyway. Bob had made it lovely, but the room was very small. Mary much preferred it downstairs, just beside the donkey's stool. So that night, as stars were twinkling, Mary's tiny baby was born. Joseph filled the donkey's trail with hay and blankets, soft and warm. As they gazed in awe and wonder at their baby sleeping sound, silently beyond their vision, all of heaven gathered round. God no longer just in glory, but right here where humans dwell. God made flesh to be God with us, Jesus our Emmanuel. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. It's the halo, I suppose. But I have some information. Excuse me while I strike a pose. 
Do not fear, I bring glad tidings, news of joy for all the earth, news about a special baby, news about a new king's birth. Get up off the ground there, Amos. There's no need to hide your face. Ah, Martians. It's, it's a blooming angel, not some dude from outer space. to David's city, Bethlehem, and you will see, wrapped in a cloth and in a manger, Lord of all eternity. Get move on then, don't just stand there gawping. <laughs> so the shepherds left the hillside and just off the city square found the house with Mary, Joseph and the baby lying there. Isn't he lovely? Who the fuck ah. it me, old Amos, standing here right before the Lord of Glory makes me knees come over here. Ah. Covers knees, covers knees, covers knees. <laughs> ba, ba. I, I feel I should have bought a present. I couldn't think of what to bring. What could shepherds give a baby? Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Bah. I bought wood bah. for him to sleep on. Comfy in the straw or hay. Now it smells of sheep, but this is from the heart. Is that okay? Bah. Bah. So the shepherds knelt and worshipped. Feet on earth and eyes in heaven. Jesus slept and snuggled softly on the will that they had given, that they have get, had given. Sure, it had no fancy wrapping. It, ribbon, no, none. Or sparkly bow. But the gift they gave Jesus came with love instead of show. So Colin... Seth and Amos went back to their dozing sheep. <coughs> Jesus somehow went with them, giving presents they could keep. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as a
Later on, a group of wise men travelled in from lands afar. Scientists, we'd call them these days, following a bright new star. Are we nearly there yet, Gaspar? We've been travelling for weeks. Can you remind me why we've come and what it is we seek? Melchior, honestly, have you forgotten? We bring gifts to greet and celebrate a new king's reign. All of books and wisdom told us that the stars so bright mean our king, our God and saviour will be born tonight. When the wise men stopped their journey, what they found was quite a show. Mary, Joseph, baby in a manger, shepherds outside with their flock. Can I check this is the right place? I brought gold to crown the king. this to baby Jesus. Well done. Uh, but I wonder, where is the palace? Is this manger quite the thing? I brought incense, pure joy and holy, made to worship God on high. What is the incense? Incense. Yeah, yes, really. Is this baby weak and helpless? Mighty God with human cry? I brought Ma, which symbolizes one who dies to save us all. Just come up, sweetie. I'll put it gently, put it gently in there. Well done. Well done. Well done. That's it. Seems a strange gift for a baby. Job too big for one so small. So the wise men gave their presents. They, they did not understand how the child who lay before them would one day give this command. Follow me, he called to many. Preach good news in all he said. Heal the sick and free the captives. Would they follow where he led? Gave his life to pay our ransom. Bought us all at costly price. Righteous king and, and God and saviour. Perfect lamb of sacrifice. Raise to light to raise us with him, Victor Christ and living word. All this lay before the baby, sleeping soundly undisturbed. So the wise men knelt around him, gave their costly presents, then suddenly they knew that they'd be taking treasure home with them. Richer than the purest incense, costlier than gold or myrrh, wise men took home truest wisdom, prince of peace and comforter. Now our story's almost ended. Everyone has met him here. Will you take the Christmas baby home with you throughout the year? Let us hear from all the people who have met with God today. How will this affect their stories? Will this change them? Who can say? Strangest night, but stranger morning, joy and sadness like a sword. When I kiss my baby's forehead, I believe I kiss the Lord. Though I'm his adopted father, I will raise him as my son. Teach him all I know and love him. Serve my king till kingdom come. I don't Ma. really understand it. All the stuff the angels said, but I know I knew knelt and worshipped by the Lord. Why would God come down to shepherds, poorest folk of all the poor? Live with us, make us worthy. I don't know, but I adore. What have I to give you, Jesus? Nothing but yet everything. All my heart and soil. Soul. Soul and worship for the baby mm -hmm. God and King. Up. God I brought expecting royals. Majesty I found instead, higher king than all kings forever, lying in a manger bed. I brought incense made for what? worship, rising as a prayer and in heaven, prayers are now answered by the baby. God's own gift to me is given. Myrrh I brought, not understanding how this babe would die and live, <laughs> bringing life in all its fullness, gifts that only he could give. So God's plan before creation, earth in heaven and heaven on earth, came in form of gentle baby, mighty God in human birth.
Now Emmanuel with us. Christmas is forever true. In your homes, if you will invite him, God with you, you and you. God on earth and in heaven. God with every human heart. The greatest gift that air was given. We and God, no more apart. Shout with us the Christmas story. Let heaven and earth declare. Jesus came from earth, glory. God is with us everywhere. Dear God, thank you for the loving that our crisp and chocolates is a amen. Amen. Yes, thank you for those things, God. And thank you for Jesus who's come and we're going to celebrate his birthday soon, who's going to be a shining light in our world and a fantastic example for us to follow. Thank you for Jesus. Amen. Dear God, we are excited as we get closer to Christmas to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Thank you for all the gifts that you give us. Help us to share your light and kindness with our others. We know lots of people in the world are hurting right now and we are all in need of hope, but we also know you can do more than we could even imagine. So you are my hope and I can trust you. We hope that everyone will know your love this Christmas. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Wow, wasn't it great to be able to worship together for our online nativity? A great shout out and a great thanks to many people who have helped to um, put this together, especially to Mike who spent hours editing all those little bit of clips, putting it together. Thank you to our musicians. Thank you to our families too for taking a great part in our service this morning. But please do join us again um, on Christmas Eve. We're having our Christingle service at 3.30 p.m. It's not too late to request a box, a light in a box, which contains all that you need to make your own Christingle ready for our service. And that's again at 3.30 p.m. on Christmas Eve. Do phone the office if you'd like a box. Again, we'll be online again at 10 o'clock on Christmas Day, so please do join us. That would be fantastic. We'd love to see you and love to worship with you, love to celebrate with you. And now we're just going to bless one another before we have our final song. You may want to huddle up as a family, if you're together as a family. Maybe you want to hold out your hands. Maybe you want to join hands as a family. We're just going to bless one another. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Now we're going to really big wind you up, Amen. Amen. Christ has come, Christ has come to, a to a manger bear. Mary laid him there. Oh. Come and fill the sky, fill the sky. With, shouts with shouts of praise. Lift your voice with me, voice with me. and sing, 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 sing. sing.
as a baby. 